So I don't know if I've shown it very well, but there is a lot of solar panels in the area. And I read that that's because they're trying to make Fukushima completely renewable by 2041. They've, this is a project they've been doing after the nuclear disaster. It's crazy to think that this was a massive disaster site. And admittedly, it is 12 years on, but they've still built it up amazingly. And even even though it is so long, the railway line that I caught yesterday and will catch today only opened in 2020, I think mid-2020. So only recently. fascinating. It does feel a bit corporate because it is. It's run by the company that runs the power plant. So take everything with a pinch of salt because it's coming from their perspective. I wouldn't try and look into what other people's perspectives are. And there was hardly anyone going around there. So there, I had this guy take me around. There's lots of projections and pre-programmed things that I have, which are in English. So that was great. A lot of it goes over the same kind of stuff, but it does get quite specific in terms of what generally happened on that day that it starts and then what happened over the course of the next well, week or so, and then what they're doing, they've been doing for the next couple of years, and specifically like what happened in each reactor and each unit, because they've got four units. This is the building it's housed in. It's a very nice building. You would not think this is some like nuclear archives. You get some really interesting car designs in Japan that are very local. You only get these cars in Japan and this is a Toyota design. It's called the Crown. They show you what they're doing in terms of treating the water and putting it back into the ocean in a safe way by removing most of the radiation. The only thing they can't get rid of is tritium. They do detonation by reverse osmosis. I'm thinking like, why can't, why can't they do desalination by heating the water to remove the salt? And then that would also be used as a form of So the robots and how they use for inspection and how they, how they image the melted fuel and what's inside the reactor without actually having to have people go in. This is their town office, it just looks abandoned. They look abandoned, but there's actually people going about their work in there. The museum's really interesting. It's got loads of stuff on uh, local history. It was apparently a very major postal station and then became industrialized and went into like ironworks before the nuclear plants came. And there's a lot of talk of people saying that the nuclear plants were going to bring um, a lot of economic prosperity to the region, which it did for quite a while until the earthquake. These tickets are from the day of the earthquake. So these clocks all stopped at different times depending on whether they were powered by the grid or by batteries or if they just fell at a certain point and were damaged. There was also loads about how it was evacuated and what happened over those couple days. And a little bit about how it's trying to rebuild and how it has rebuilt the area. Down this road, there's a view of 
lots of cherry blossoms. However, I don't think they're blossoming yet, but you can see they're on the verge. Here, I think they blossom in early April, and you can see that they're getting close, and I think I saw some in Fukushima City. But I don't think right at the moment they are blossoming. So I don't think there's any point going right the way down there because it'll just be bare trees. There's not a lot to do here, but I think that road's meant to be amazing when the sapler are blossoming. But I'm very glad I came here to see all the information about the nuclear power plant and what's happening now and what did happen then. Very interesting. You can do a tour of the power plant from what I understand, but I, you have to book them in advance and I didn't because I didn't know. And I don't think it's cheap either, so have a look at that if you're coming up. I've not had proper rain in ages. Like, there was a bit in Hakodate, but we'll see. I want to try and get there before the sky breaks open. Pick up the pace. The place I stayed in was over 270 years old. ただ<笑><笑><笑> ありがとうございます。はい。あ、ご来ましょうか、こうやって。じゃあ、マリナ。いやいや。影作るかな。あ、一緒にちょっともらった方がいいかな、みたいな。本当にモデルみたいで。おっしゃ。じゃあ、そ